Hi everyone, Destroyer here with another Ancient Overview. Today I'm going to be showing you Amani, which is a Nature Ancient. She can only be unlocked from the Daily Campaign, which can be found on the map. If you follow the green arrow, it is in the bottom left hand corner there, Amani's Grove. Now these do cost Battle Stones. There are three battles to win, and if you do happen to win all three, you'll be rewarded with a Nature Chest. So this can contain Nature Primus, Battle Boosts and the exclusive Ancient Amani. The other, the other Nature Ancients are there as well. So in addition to this, you'll also receive an additional three starting mana on all the Nature Ancients for the rest of the day. So we'll continue here and have a look at that. At the end of these three attacks, I'll also show you Amani in action. So these are like regular multiplayer attacks. So some of these bases may look familiar. I cannot actually show you how to complete these for yourself because they are random. But I will go ahead and complete them. You do need to use a Nature Ancient today. So I am using Erasmus, which is my favorite Nature Ancient. So I'll just go ahead. You'll notice that all the spell towers have also been replaced with Nature. So that is the uh, Crippling Poison. These will reduce your movement and attack speed by 25%. So it's best to try and avoid these. Uh, there's quite a lot around the back of the stronghold. So it is best I come from the other side. But I may use my dragon to swoop over the base a few times to damage them. So I'll drop it down here on the west. Fast forward through these uh, big buildings. They do take quite a long time for a dragon to destroy. Now it's time to do some sweeps. We'll just come across the defenses here on the side. And that has also distracted the buildings. I might actually come from this side, sweep across again to distract those buildings. Deploy most of my troops here. I need 15 mana with Erasmus to use my favorite spell, which is Refraction. So now all of these long distance defenses, such as the arrow launchers and catapults, will quickly uh, get destroyed. So the first base happens to be fairly easy for me. I am a Stronghold 15, but my uh, troops are at Stronghold level 14 level so far. So I have completed the mission. However, I'm going to clear up the rest of the gold. So I'll just hit, hit the fast forward here and clean that up. And the uh, bases should progressively get harder. So if you don't manage to win this, you'll have to redo the attack again. However, the gold you previously uh, managed to get will be gone from the second time you attack it. So don't forget to scroll back down to the campaign. So this is the second attack. I'm a raider, so I'm getting the 25% gold bonus. It's a stronghold 14, stronger than the last one with the flare tower there and a lot of clumped defenses around the dual Primus Conduits. So that's going to be a nasty place to come in from. I will be using the Refraction to damage those, but I don't want to come into there first, since I do need another eight mana before I, before I uh, trigger that spell. So I need to find a nice clean entrance here. So I might come in from the south. But first, I may remove some of these distractions. So I'll do that by building up a recharge from attacking this building. So I have two recharges now. I can now sweep across the base, doing some damage there. Then I can also sweep back across these builders huts. So now I have a nice clean entrance here. My troops should not walk left or right. So I've dropped my soldiers, paladins, my wardens coming in there as well. I have another recharge on the dragon. I can move that safely out of the way as well as do some damage in the process. Almost have enough charge here for a refraction. Get that uh, portal down, drop it in there. Now you'll see all of these uh, arrow launchers and catapults taking a lot of damage in return, especially that flare tower. So I've done the uh, bulk of the damage to the defenses here. I'll sweep my dragon across once more. And another refraction, maybe some hallucinate distractions. And that'll clean up the gold. And another mission complete. So 
Moving on to the third attack now, back down in the left corner. You'll notice that it says that this battle will give me a nature chest. Similar to the last one, but it's a stronghold 15. A lot of nasties on the Primus conduits. So it's a matter of finding a nice place to come in from. That, actually, this base looks familiar. Uh, but I can't recall the name of the person who uses this design. Uh, I normally come in from this side. So I might actually uh, stay with the same technique I use. I'm going to quickly sweep across this... Not yet. Looks like I'm not getting attacked. I am. I'll sweep across the uh, builder's huts so my melee troops don't get distracted on that. I'll drop my soldiers, the paladins, some wardens from here as well. More paladin and warden. So I'm going to do another sweep shortly. This will also help distract the uh, spell towers. So I'm after this 15 mana. Almost got it here. 14, 15, quickly drop the refraction. I'm after that uh, flare tower, it's quite nasty. There it goes. Arrow launcher, still got a few uh, spell towers at the back. Spell has worn off, but I just reached enough to drop it again. It shouldn't be any problem now. So most of the nasty defenses have already been taken down by the refraction spell. I have got it again here. I just keep dropping some hallucinations. Four illusionists, and there's only a couple of watchtowers left for ground defense, and that's everything. Now we get to open this new chest. So the campaign is complete. I'll now receive a plus three starting mana on my Erasmus, which happens to be my favorite ancient at this point. So here I have some nature battle boosts, the, all the nature ancients, and of course. We have Amani there and Nature Primus. So with a bit of luck you'll get the Amani Ancient which can only be got uh, received from this chest and also just received a thousand Nature Primus. So if you don't manage to get it today you can try again next Wednesday. It is once a week. So maybe I can go in and show you that now. I will do a single player attack and show you what Amani is capable of. Change my Ancient now, and Amani, plus three starting bonus because she is a an uh, Nature Ancient. You'll see here that the Spell Tower is similar to all the other Nature Ancients. It's Crippling Poison, which does a bit of damage over time, as well as reduces the movement and attack speed by 25%. The first spell for five mana is Thorn Shield which cuts nature damage received by 50% and reflects 50% of damage back to the attackers for 9.8 seconds. So this reflects all the damage, not just the damage received by nature. Second spell for 10 mana is Entangle, which uh, deals some damage over time and also freezes the uh, defense. Third spell is Restoration, which fully heals the target unit and causes it to pulse for 52 to 57 healing. So that's pretty good, that's over three seconds. So that's a very, very handy spell to use. So we'll be using that one for sure. So we'll select Amani here. It is a fairly easy base for me. It is only a one streak. So I'll find a nice point of entry here. It is quite difficult to find a place for my dragon to safely snipe. And there's nothing much of a distraction, so I may just deploy my troops and have the dragon follow from behind. Now the optimum place for that would be uh, near some troop portals. It seems to be the most here, but I want to keep away from these purple spell towers. They're very nasty. So I'll come in from this corner here. Make sure my troops get in there first before I drop the uh, wardens. I don't want them running around the outside. So the first spell is going to cut some da damage. So this is reducing the damage taken by 50%. Second spell will freeze a tower. 
It's not that useful for me right now. I might tr try it on one of these purple spell towers. You can see it's uh, frozen that. A little bit of damage as well. Now then, I might just uh, use the thorn shield on a few of these first. As soon as I take down the stronghold, I'll use the restoration and you can see how effective that is. I have the mana, but the troops aren't that damaged yet, so I will wait a little bit. Actually, they're very fully healed already, so it's not going to be much use. I'll wait for this purple spell tower. These are all single targets right now, so it's not going to be showing you too much. But you'll see that I don't manage to die too quickly. But yeah, watchtowers are very dangerous. So unfortunately, I didn't get to show you this third spell in, in effect. Uh, there is, you can see one warden healing there. It's very quick. So that is best used against the high splash damage tower such as the catapults and the arrow launchers. So that is Amani. It seems quite useful so I will uh, upgrade it some more and see how it goes. So once again Amani can only be obtained from the nature chest which is from the campaign um, on Wednesdays. So if you don't have any luck with that today you can try again next Wednesday. I will try and show you the next two Ancients on Thursday and Friday, so stay tuned for that. Bye!